Yeah, immunotherapy is tricky. You know, you want to really lock in on a protein. You know, just injecting a little protein into somebody doesn't necessarily create antibodies, and there's different epitopes and all this stuff. There's a reason that, especially cancer, I mean, you're talking about, you know, protein evolution really is hard to, that's why there's no KRAS vaccine. Otherwise, we could just jab somebody with KRAS, right? And we know KRAS causes some cancers, it's like 80, 90%. Right, but there's selective pressure and there's mutational change. That's why cancer vaccines have always been a LARP. I'm giving this one the benefit of the doubt, and it's it shouldn't be, and it still doesn't match up to what I want. So it's a real long shot, and I I I want to save you money. My incentives are aligned with you. I want you to make a fortune and not lose it all. I think you're better off in cassava. Just, you know, you can always lower your position, right? If you have a 50% position or something crazy like that, make it more normal. Make it a 20% position. 20% a lot. Most hedge funds, most funds, they're not going to do in 20% positions. Split it with cassava. Just act like, okay, well, cassava is going to be a good return. So I need some money in both just in case I miss cassava. Maybe that's like... Uh, a good attitude to have psychologically. If you were to start, a great psychological thing for portfolios is start your portfolio from scratch, from zero dollars. You sold everything. You got to put your whole portfolio back together, all every stock, every option, whatever. What would you buy and sell? What would you buy in short from a start? Don't worry about what prices you've paid for things in the past. The market doesn't owe you any money. The stocks don't owe you any money. Let's say you have NVIDIA, you have Microsoft, I don't know, you have some stock that's been down a lot, like Team, that you still believe in. Would you actually buy back all of those stocks precisely in the same amounts that you had them in already? If the answer is no, then you have uh, cognitive blindness around uh, position sizing and position history. Again, there's no history in the stock market. If you bought a stock at 50 and it's at 20, there's no sense in waiting for it to come back. Unless you would buy it with a fresh million dollars, you would say, you know what? I'm gonna buy a ton of this stock at 20. So I really believe it's going to 1,000 or 100 or 200. That's why I bought it at 50 and I still believe in it. If you take that new money and you put it somewhere else, well, you've got to sell that stock even though it's 20. It doesn't mean anything what the past was, how much you know you put in at what price, irrelevant. The only thing that matters is what's the price going forward. Well, this guy wants beef. Snake beef. My top 10 yet? Go ahead, stream snipe me. Go ahead. This guy thinks he's going to do it to me. Nah. I ain't doing shit, dogs. Oh, you ain't doing shit. Can't do nothing to me, bro. You couldn't handle my little brother, bro. <laughs> you trying to fuck me up. Oh, you don't want to get owned, do you? I'll fuck you up. Come on, somebody help me out here. This guy's terrifying. Oh, yeah, you're getting fucked. Oh, it's over. Oh, he, he, he just ate somebody else.
I used to play this game on stream all day. The old school people know it. That's why somebody mentioned it. So I thought I'd bring it out real quick. I thought I'd die right away, but I'm, I'm hanging in. Are you trying to kill me? Are they trying to kill me, R. Kelly. He's still trying to kill me. You ain't doing shit to me. How come I'm not top 10 yet, man? This guy's trying to stab me. Gario is the other one that's kind of good. Oh, this guy's eating it all. All the fruits. My labor. We're gonna try me. Should I start encircling these little motherfuckers? This motherfucker's trying me. Should I start eating them? Circle them, put them inside my web, choking them out. Y'all trying to kill me? Nah! Ah! <laughs> Bastards! Type Racer, all you guys remember the legends. Let's get back to work. Hell yeah, I like Latinas. It's always the little fish are the fastest. They have nothing to lose. So you just... That's what it is on the streets, too. You know, Quest? So, Quest, I need you to look at, like, 10 Canadian stocks and just go and go to chat and just talk about 10 different Canadian stocks every day. Like, I, I'm never going to look at these stupid stocks. What is this shit? Canadian Pacific. Enbridge. Loblaws, RBC, Shopify's cool, look at that one. TD, I don't even know what half these are. Because there's people that look at them and we need to engage them with the content. <laughs> 